everybody. I've got Doug from Doug in Exile here. He used to be on News Gym. He used to be Richard Taco. He used to be, used to be, he's used washed be. up now. Yeah, used to be young and tight and fit. Oh, man. He used to be in marathon running shape. Marathon man. Now, now look, just a sad <laughs> shell of his former self. <laughs> Joe and I, we knew each other. He knew me. I was 17 or I was 18 and Joe was 18 and 19. These tight two young men who go out at the beach and surf. Remember in San Diego, we would surf together at eight, two 18 year olds. Hey, uh, La Jolla Shores. Southern Tan, California. Ha hair, long hair flowing in the breeze. The I remember Joe used to have hair like down to his neck, like blowing back. Swimming with the sharks and the Swimming seals. With sharks. Sea lions. Girls. Girl, you ever see World War Z where all the zombies are falling? That's what the girls were like coming after us. <laughs> like climbing that wall. It was just wow. piles of girls trying to get over that wall, just crawling. Wow, just I don't remember that part. <laughs> In World War That's Z? Oh. No, no, no. I mean the girls. I don't remember that. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, was, it was exactly like that. Trying to get to us. No. I think that was a fantasy. <laughs> I think that was probably just <laughs> And we were, we were both in the art department. Learned all of our art foundation together. Hit notify. That way you get told every time we post a video. Notify is the bell. Yeah. Ding. Hit it. And then every time he puts up a video, you'll get a little message. Okay, welcome to News Gym. This is my guest, Doug in Exile. He has a big channel on YouTube. He's one of the big political people. Real big, big, big. big. Look at that yes. big, there's the big channel. Oh, right look, there, he's man. got one of those little plaques. I tell you what, I think I'm going to make a little plaque out of foil and cardboard. <laughs> I got to do that next time. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. It's so much better than a real one. <laughs> that I would swear. be great. Yeah. Um, it, that's kind of like your um, Twitter channel, Blue Check Implied. Isn't that kind of doing the same yeah. thing? Like making yeah. a little foil wax yeah. for yourself. And then I also went and bought a Blue Check. But I was, oh. I was trying to get a legit one for so, free because so I'm a celebrity. it's not implied anymore. You actually have a blue check. But I had to buy one. So uh, I wanted well. to get it organically, like famous. Oh, people. it's I'm still like, I'm real. done to Naples. It's and like still that. real, like, even though you had to bribe. The funniest thing in the world is that I paid Elon Musk a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, wrong with this picture? Shouldn't he be reason. giving me $9 to be honest? I'm giving a billionaire $9. There's a reason why he's a billionaire. I was listening to Lauren Boebert the other day reading the articles of impeachment for Joe Biden, and she was listing some of the reasons for impeachment, which included bribery. And so I was expecting her to go forward with the idea that Joe Biden has been compromised uh, he has through been bribery. Bribed. That wasn't the direction she went at all. She, she was pointing to the southern border that he has shirked his duties as far as protecting the people and the Constitution. But that's not bribery, then. No, that's what I'm saying. I okay. When she was reading the reasons yeah. for impeachment, yeah. one of the reasons would be bribery. So I thought she was going to go that route, but she didn't at all. No, they say that the most, I heard this the earliest, this is back when Marjorie Taylor Greene brought up articles of impeachment or, or implied that she wanted to do it back in 2020. It was dereliction of duty to yeah. secure America's border that it, he has a constitutional duty to protect American soil or something like that. And that's the one that they're going to get them on, on the border. That just yeah, he made so, no effort. So I was surprised because I thought it was, they were going to bring up bribery. Yeah. I've heard that before, that that's with, that's how they can uh, impeach both he and Mayorkas, that, uh, that lizard guy who's, you know, in charge of Homeland Security or whatever. I don't know oh, yeah. In charge of it. Uh, that those two can get impeached right now just on the southern border would be Biden and Mayorkas. Okay. And of the big three, they need to impeach Garland being the third, the, probably the evilest attorney general ever. I'm always iffy on the southern border because I just think as an issue, everyone kind of casually dislikes it. It's the most popular issue is... Is That's what surprises me is that it's always board. brought up, you know, in this case, as an example, it's brought up yeah. as the main big issue. But in my mind, it's not the main big yeah, issue. And that's because it's not urgent because you yeah. don't, because I live in Tennessee and I don't have illegals walking through my house right now. So if you're right. on the Texas border and they're on your fields, yeah, that's an emergency. But if you're out in New Hampshire, then illegals coming over your border is like, yeah, I think I saw something on it on TV. And the same thing with 
with crime. Crime's only a problem when you're in the cities. Yeah. So uh, unless you see it on the news, it's not affecting you now. Inflation affects everyone everywhere. So inflation, yeah. higher interest rates, not being able to get eggs and things like that. That's a bread and butter table issue that cuts across everyone. So I'm kind of like, yeah, yeah, the border, I'm sure it'll get me one day. Cost of things, that's hitting us. If you have a home loan or- Yeah, I, I feel like that is probably the number one issue amongst most people. But for me, that is also a secondary issue. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the issues that really get to me are more the social issues yeah me too so which are always uh sort of last in everybody else's yeah. mind yeah. and to me they're they're eternal and they go to the heart of god right. they, they right. go to the mind of god whereas yeah. i don't think god's up there going i can't believe a mexican's going over the southern <laughs> border <laughs> or, <laughs> like oh i can't believe yeah. the price of eggs yeah can't yeah. believe the price of eggs these days in rome oi yeah, in the meantime, we're just completely rejecting the created order. No, sacrificing uh, human beings. Sacrificing to and, oh, and Moloch. Yeah. For me, the social issues are, and that's my beef again with the Republican Party is, and the one who I think is the best on social issues, who's the most vocal about them, tends to be DeSantis. And Trump is on the big three populist issues, which is border, crime, yeah. and the economy. But the economy didn't play out as well as we thought it would in 2020. 2020, we thought we would completely smoke them in house in the house, right? We barely eked out a victory, and the other one we oh, didn't right. lost seats. Yeah, and that's because everyone thought, "Oh, Biden's incompetence. We're going to smoke them in 2020," and it was on those issues. News, Jim.